Come to Papa, Big Mama. Come to Papa. She actually got a whack off on us. Oh, we don't want to look at that. Big Mama's underwear is really scary. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental on Build 173, where we have snow trees in the desert. Yes, we do. <laughs> you guys didn't catch the last episode. We went to the desert, and there were trees, evergreen trees, all over the desert with snow on them, and it was just the most bizarre thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> so in this episode, we are going to... Um, sounds like we got a screamer we have to kill. Uh, we are going to work on our base. Uh, we're going to get it upgraded to steel, or at least parts of it upgraded to steel. And then we're going to also put some electric fences in place. So that's kind of our main goal for this episode. Guys, uh, before we get started, I hope you enjoy this episode. And if you do, and if I entertain you, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. And hey, guess what? As of right now, uh, it is um, about 6.55 p.m. on July 29th. I am seven subs away from 1,000. That's going to be a huge milestone for the channel. And uh, just it, very excited to, to hit that that first milestone. It's going to be great. Uh, so anyway, yeah. And if you don't enjoy this video, please consider leaving a factual and constructive comment and help me to improve. Okay, yeah. We're gonna we're almost to 1,000. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Awesome. We are still um, healing up from our broken arm in the last episode. We have 13 minutes left on that. Um, let's take another one of these guys, and what does that do? Okay, that knocks it down to nine more minutes. Uh, so we'll eat that. We do have a splint on, um, so, you know, we're healing up on that. We got the shit kicked out of us. We, we didn't die, but we did get beat up pretty good at that, um, I guess it was like a training bunker or something, um, that we hit in the last episode. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this, this is gonna pretty much be, for the most part anyways, a building episode. So... We do have to kill that Screamer, though. So I have, let's see, in here, I've got 165 steel. Some of this we bought from a couple of different traders, and some of it we just salvaged from um, lampposts and, and that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to use that to upgrade our hatches and also upgrade our um, poles, I guess, you know, our, our little bars that we have in front of us, between us and the zombies. And I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be enough to do it. If it isn't, well, we'll have to get some more. And even if it is, we're probably going to need to get some more anyways in order to, you know, re make repairs. Before we get started with that, though, I do want to... We need to make some fence posts. So we need iron and we need electrical parts. I already have a Jenny in here. We looted that... What is that? Those are switches. Okay. I have a generator in here. We looted that from somewhere. I can't remember where, but we do have it. So we don't have to make that, though we could if we needed to because we do know how to. And I, I kind of went out to the base and took a look around, and we're going to need about a total of 20 fence posts for what I have in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and queue up 20 of these, and we'll have those crafting. It'll take 12 and a half minutes whilst we're outside upgrading the steel. All right, let's go take care of our screamer friend first before we do anything else. She's probably already in the base and, you know, that's actually kind of the nice thing about this setup is that um, the screamers come right in here because it's the pathway that the AI detects, you know, for coming up to us. So she did get a scream off, but that's okay. You know what that means? More XP for us. Right, Steve? Wait, is that Steve? I can't remember who that is. Nurse Nancy. You can go down. Yeah, bring it, guys. We're ready for you. Oh, spider. Headless spider. Ronald McDonald. Um, that's... Is that... Is that Joe? I can't remember. It's Headless Joe. What's that guy's name? No, that's... That's... Yo. That's Yo. Yeah, like... Yo, Yo. Yo. <laughs> okay. Alright, so... Um, let's go ahead and get started with our upgrades. So, the first thing we're going to upgrade to steel are these bars here. Nope. Wait a minute, what? I am such a noob. I am such a noob. We need the hammer for that. Come on, you guys, why in the hell didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Shit, now we need concrete to repair my stupidity! 
concrete repairs stupidity. If you guys didn't know that, it's true fact. Um, <laughs> all right, let's, <laughs> God, I can't believe that. Oh man, it can't take me anywhere. I can't take me anywhere. Let's go ahead and try this again. I couldn't figure out for a second there why my frickin' um, impact driver wasn't upgraded. It's like, uh, impact driver, hello. Okay, let's get this upgraded to steel. So each one of these will take 10. Okay, so good good on that part. Um, eventually, I might upgrade kind of like this, our little shield to steel too, but I'm not really you know, worried about that right now because we don't have an abundance of steel. So our next highest priority is now to get the, um, uh, the hatches upgraded. Okay, so... Um, the important thing to know about these hatches, okay, is that, fuck, now I need scrap iron. I'll be right back. All right, as I was saying, um, the important thing to know about these hatches is right now, this has a thousand hit points and it has three stages? Maybe four. At least three stages before it's completely destroyed, right? Um we're gonna we're gonna exponentially increase the hit points on this thing. Um to the tune of about twenty-one thousand in total when we're all done. So right now, I think it has maybe three thousand. Let's actually just for the hell of it, just for shits and grins, let's test that. That was another 1,000, and I think this is the final level. So if, if we break that all the way, which we're not going to do, then it's done, right? So about 3,000 hit points where it's currently at. Okay, let's get this back up to normal with the iron. Okay, so right now these guys are a total of 3,000 hit points, right? And if you guys watched Horde 28, you saw that the zombies on Horde 28... 28 they tore through these pretty quickly i mean it wasn't like insta kill but i mean they come they came through them pretty quickly so we're gonna upgrade this so that it has a total of twenty one thousand hit points guys with the steel okay so let's go ahead and do this now and the reason i know it's twenty one thousand is because i actually tested this out in creative mode just you know just to see exactly how much it was going to be um, so let's go ahead and upgrade this. Oh, you know what it wants us to do? It wants us to make a steel hatch. Oh, man, I hate that. Why the f***? Why do we have to make the actual hatch to upgrade it? Why not just use the materials that it requires to upgrade it? Come on, fun pimps. That is a change that you guys made that just does not make any sense whatsoever in my old guy brain. All right. I think we're going to probably have to make those from the... Um, the workbench too, right? Whoop, how about we spell it correctly? Yep, fault hatch has to be made in the workbench. I'll be right back. All right, guys, as we wait for these hatches to finish, I'm looking at our steel. and We have 89 forged steel. I'm pretty sure that it's going to take us 30 steel to upgrade each one of these hatches to level three. No, wait a minute. It should only probably take 20 because the hatch we make is level one. Then we upgrade it once, which should take 10 steel, I think. Then we upgrade it to the third level, which take, should take another 10 steel. So we should need a total of 60 altogether. And if that's the case, then that leaves us a total of, of, what, 29 left over, which is not very much for repair. So we are still going to have to get some more forged steel, assuming I'm correct about that. So one way or the other, we need more forged steel. So I think what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for, all, for, for these in particular to finish is I'm going to go out and see if I can salvage a little bit more forged steel. I think we've checked Trader Gin already. Let's, um, let's not jump from that high. Let's not jump at all since we have a ladder. Let's just go look at her again and see if she has any. I'm pretty sure I bought it. If I didn't, then I'm going to kick myself for not also bringing my money while we go over here. Oh, shit. Got a wandering horde, and they decided to stop right there. Son of a... 
All right. Well, let's deal with these guys. Ooh, nice. Wow. Okay, we'll take that. We'll, we'll see how good it is when we're finished. I think there might be a couple more. Come to Papa, Big Mama. Come to Papa. She actually got a whack off on us. Oh, we don't want to look at that. Big Mama's underwear is really scary. Okay, so that was actually pretty cool. We got a green AK out of that deal. Is it actually, in fact, better than what we have, though? Thought I heard footsteps. Uh, let's take a look. So this guy is 44 range damage. This one is actually four points better, even with the mods, or without the mods, rather. This one is two points. Are you shitting me? Really? Come on, game. I hate that, man. I absolutely hate that. That higher level stuff is poorer, worse, inferior, whatever term you want to use, what other fucking adjective you want to use, than, you know, the lower level stuff. Mostly because of durability and, more importantly, mod slots. Though, these two have the same mod slots, but these two do not. So that has 44 range damage. This one actually has, without mods, 46 range damage. All right, well, I guess you, that means we either fix this up and sell it, or we just scrap it for parts later on. That's disappointing. It really is. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. All right, Trader Jin, do you have any steel? Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? If you guys wonder why I keep I get you? turning my light off and on, it's because I've been playing a lot of Imperion Galactic Survival, and in that game, F is the activate key, and so my fingers are still thinking that I need to press F. Um, in Seven Days to Die, it's F for flashlight. Let's take a look and see what she has. She does have forged steel. Okay, so how much in total do we need? We need, we need almost 3,000 coin to buy that. Um, okay. Really? I'll be right back. Well, okay then. <laughs> Whilst we're at it, we might as well sell all this stuff, too. Um, so we're going to need to want to repair a couple things. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Dr. Jen. Okay, so let's sell first. And you came all this way. What a waste. I can't take me anywhere. We left our sugar butts back in the bike. Are there sugar butts in here? Nope. I'll be right back. It's been one of those days, you guys. I'll tell you what, it really has. It's been kind of a, actually kind of been a rough day for me on, uh, in real life. Just kind of a stressful work day. But that's okay. We're playing Seven Days to Die now, so we can relax, because this is a very relaxing game to play. Particularly on Insane Nightmare Speed. Where in the hell's my knife? There it is. Have you guys noticed how many more rabbits and chickens... <laughs> chickens ever are in the game now like they're all over the place it's just funny because chickens especially used to be super rare you'd bear you'd only see one every once in a while and now they're like all over the place and i'm not complaining about that i think that's kind of funny actually um what are we here for we're here to get um the pills not the pills the candy um but we need to put a couple things away because we killed a rabbit that's what we're doing I tell you, yeah, I know, I know. My brain is just not working correctly today. I hope you guys at least find that fact entertaining, though, okay? I mean, if my brain's not going to work correctly, at least in the not working correctly, if it entertains you guys, then we still win, right? What am I doing? Oh, we're putting this in here. Now, let's go... We don't have much time, actually. We don't have hardly any time at all. Let's quickly jump on the bike and turn our, our flashlight off again because we're still pressing the F key. By the time I'm done with this episode, I will probably have retrained re my finger to press E and then I'll go back to Empyrean and then you know what's going to happen. Press E. Now, what I want to do is we got enough stuff here to sell that it's going to be worth it for us to down one of these. 
And we have the cigar on our mouth, too. So remember that, too. So that gives us a bonus as well. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Okay, so. Sell first. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to sell. We made... Uh, we have we now have a total of ten thousand three hundred ninety eight coin, which is good. All right, Linnell, let's get her steel. We're gonna buy all that, and that gives us thirty one pieces, which isn't bad. And um, does she actually she restocks on day thirty four? I don't know if I've actually seen this inventory. Let's just look at it really quick here. Great heist. What's that do? Find ten percent more jewelry and precious ships when looting. Yes, we'll take that. Um. Don't think I want more bow parts right now. Let's look at our normal inventory. That's all the stuff we sold her. Okay. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And you, tell your friends. You can take care of me anytime you want to, Jenny. Anytime you want to. Just to let you folks know, Trader Joel closing soon. Okay, that's all I want to buy there. Okay. I think we're done screwing around and can now get back to what we're actually trying to accomplish in this episode, and that is getting our base upgraded. You are in good shape. Okay. We made a pretty decent little pile of coin there off those sales, but then we spent some of it, of course, on... You didn't see me press the F key there. Uh, let's use this, and we're going to put the the money back in there for now. Press E. We'll put that stuff in there and that stuff in there. This is starting to get filled up. We might have to, um, we might have to make a separate medical bin. Um, let's grab this and how's our food? Eh, it's kind of low. How about two cans of chicken ration? Since we were just talking about chickens, how's that sound? Okay, I also want to grab our rebar and maybe a couple more stacks of concrete as well. Um, let's grab our Ginny, and I need a wire tool. Okay, I think that's everything we need to, to do everything we need to do. Okay, so let's get our hammer out. And... There's no point really in upgrading these hatches to steel because those are just kind of like trap doors to drop the Zekers if we if we get you know feel like we're starting to get overrun. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. All right, so this guy has 7,000 hit points, but each layer has 7,000 hit points, right? So we have a total of 21,000 hit points on this, and of course we have three of them. So that's all I'm planning on doing for steel upgrades, and we still have 47 pieces. Um, I would like to still have a little bit more than that, so I'll probably do a little more salvaging off-camera, most likely, uh, to have, you know, just kind of get that up a little bit more for Horde Knight 35, so we have plenty of steel to do the repairs with that we need to do. But this, uh, we, we significantly, um, you know, upgraded our defenses here just by upgrading these guys to, you know, tier 3 steel or le level 3 steel or however the hell that's actually supposed to be referred to. So I'm feeling good about that. Okay, now, next thing we want to do is we want to get some electric fence post action in. So here's the thing. Um, the electric fence posts are going to do two things for us. They actually three things. We're going to run a wire right across the front of each one of these hatches. Because if you guys have been watching the other Horde Knights, you'll know that the dogs and the spiders, they kind of get hung up um, in front of the the um, uh, the hatch here. And it's really hard for me to kill them with the gun. And so, you know, they're sitting here and they're just kind of, you know, banging on this and damaging it. And it's really hard for us to kill them. Now, we can kill them with explosives a little bit, but... Um, what the, what we're going to do is we're going to run an electric fence right across this block here. And that's going to cause some damage to the spiders and the dogs. But it's also going to stun lock them so that they're not able 
to beat on this the entire time, which translates then into the hatch taking less damage. All right, so electric fences will go across the front of each hatch, and then we're gonna alternate and put an electric fence up higher for the, for the standing zombies. Um, so they're also, you know, getting zapped as they come through here and stun locked and therefore, um, you know, uh, uh, le uh, causing less damage to the hatches and letting us kill more of them in the meanwhile. Okay, so that's kind of the idea behind uh, everything that we're we're trying to do here. Well, it looks like we got a couple more. Oh, you know, that was probably from that screamer that came through. Here, let's make sure everything's fully repaired here. That's probably from the screamer that came through. And, you know, up to this point, you know, the Zekers have largely ignored hitting the sidewalls. Almost all of the damage that the sidewalls do take, which is very, very minimal, has been from my explosives that have been thrown in here. Okay, cool. So that's done. Let's go up here now and let's... Start with placing our Jenny down. And I think what we'll do with that is we're going to place the generator right here. And I'm going to actually make um, a concrete plate and stick it right here, you know, to, to and maybe even one here just to shield it. Just in case, you know, a cop comes from that direction and tries to spit, that sort of thing. Okay, now let's take our rebar and we're basically just going to run a row across the top and across the bottom. Um, we might have to get up a little higher to do the top. And on, actually, we don't need rebar there. We just need it to start here because those two blocks are the actual drop through. All right, and then I think, I don't think I'm gonna put a fence here, so we don't need this last block either. Yeah, so that's exactly what we want, and that's a total of five blocks, okay, that's good. And then we'll also do five blocks down here. And let's get those upgraded. Okay, now let's do the same thing. Oh shit! What the hell? What the hell? Wolf! Wolf, meet automatic shotgun. Whew. That son of a bitch infected us. He's, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. This is not a zombie wolf. This is a normal, healthy, well, he used to be healthy, <laughs> wolf. How in the hell can a healthy, non-zombified wolf infect me? That doesn't make sense. Unless I caught, like, you know, the Lobo disease or something. All right, that's bullshit. That is, that's actually bullshit. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I should not have been infected from that wolf. What happened to this block here? I think I, I, sh I shot it with a shotgun. All right, let's go grab some honey. Yeah, I mean, seriously, right? Healthy wolf, previously healthy wolf, should not have been able to infect us. You guys didn't see me press the F key. Let's take a honey. And let's also... Let's pop a bandage. And make sure we have a full stack down there too. Okay. Yeah, bullshit. I call bullshit. Okay, anyway, let's continue on here.
Where's that screamer at? Is she stuck inside the creamery? care of her uh let's put these back on and turn our light back on and we were over here getting ready to lay some blocks when we got attacked by the healthy wolf that gave us a zombie infection all right so let's see we were going we're starting here one two three four and five All right, so that's done. Now, um, <clears throat> we want to have the wire cross on the lower block on this first on this first one. Okay, so the way that that's going to happen is we're going to grab our fence posts and we want to set them every other top block going down. Okay, let's double check that, make sure that's correct. That means it's gonna be on this block, it's gonna skip a block, it's gonna be on this block, it's gonna skip a block, and then it's gonna be on this block. Okay, so I think we did that correctly. So let's do the same thing on this side. And then, of course, the alternating blocks will be on the bottom. Or, I'm sorry, not alternating blocks, alternating fence posts. Now, should we... Should we put one on this end, too? I think we probably should. I don't see any reason not to. I'm going to have to make some more fence posts, but, I mean, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I think that's that's a good idea. Okay. So Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I uh I think I miscalculated that, didn't I? We actually have more fence posts than we need. Look at that. Well, that was a mistake that actually worked out kind of sort of in our favor. We still have eight extra fence posts, but we, you know, we might need some more um, for, to replace some of these if they break later on anyway. So I kind of planned it that way. Not really. <laughs> we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend like it worked out that way, even though it didn't. Excellent. Okay. So, oh, we do need to do one more, don't we? Okay. So can we get that up there? Right. I had it. A second ago. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, now, the next thing we want to do is we want to grab our wiring tool. So now what we have to do is we have to run these over to the other side. So that should be simple enough. We'll just click on that, hop over here, and click there. We should now have an upper, a lower, an upper, a lower, an upper, and a lower in front of that last hatch. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay. So guys, the last thing that needs to happen is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover um, I'm going to cover the fence posts and this area here with some concrete plates, which I have to make in the concrete mixer as normal concrete and then upgrade them later because I can't use, uh, I can't make plates out of rebar. Oh, wait, can I? Never mind. We can now. Oh, cool. That's awesome. That's new. That is new at least to Alpha 19, if not the one of the laters. I didn't even know that. Used to only have like three or four options in here. Oh man, that's fantastic. Okay, so we do have rebar plate frames now. Um, that's good because you know now we can make these changes without having to make normal, you know, concrete and then upgrade them later. Oh, I love it. Good job, fun pimps. Good job. Okay, so what that means then is it probably is a good idea at this point for us to go ahead and fill in this stuff too with normal blocks first. Yeah, that's great. I had no idea that they had upgraded those to, to so we can actually use rebar for plates now. That is fantastic. Anyway, guys, we're we're like we're pretty pretty far over. Well, we're not far over, but we're kind of getting there. Uh, based upon how I edit this. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the blocks, and then I'm going to cover this whole thing with plates, you know, to give it some protection. Um, and I might put I might put a couple hatches in, too, just so, if, you know, if and when we do have to replace or repair these fences, we can get to them without having to break through the blocks. Because what I suspect's probably going to happen is on Horde Night, the, the fences on this end are probably going to wear down to the point of potentially breaking all the way because we're not going to be able to repair them. Um, so we will have to, you know, we will have to probably replace those uh, in the morning. And to do that, I want to make sure that I can get at them without having to break reinforced concrete plates to get to them sort of thing. So we can probably accomplish that by putting some hatches up here. I don't know. I'll have to think about how I'll have to think about how I'll do that. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So I'll just get those plates in place to protect those, and then we are ready to go for Horde And I do have to put some generators and some gasoline, of course, in... Uh, I'm sorry, some engines and some gasoline in the generator, but that's easy to do, of course. And then uh, we should be good to go. So in the next episode, I will show you, you know, what the, the finished product here and how I decided to do the hatches and all that. And then uh, we will we'll go from there, okay? Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Um, last time I checked, we're seven subscribers away from a thousand. Yay, that's going to be so awesome. Uh, so if you could subscribe, if you haven't already, I would appreciate it. And that's about it. Remember, too, that I, I don't know if I mentioned this in this episode, but I did mention it in the last episode. I might not be able to continue giving... Uh, uh, putting out daily videos on this series but i you know i will do the very best that i can to be consistent with you know maybe every other day or in worst case scenario every third day but hopefully we can keep it going with every other day we'll just kind of see how things go i just got a lot of stuff going on right now uh both with my other in series uh on the t channel and then in real life and stuff like that too so okay bye